prophesying to this one yesterday, but there is a, a seed that you planted years ago. There is a place where you are where here in Washington, I believe, because I, I'm taken, I'm not here. I, I'm moving out. I'm, I, I'm crossing the Col Colum Colum Columbia River. But it is as if as I'm caving here, there's another river that is connecting with it. I, I see Snake, Snake River. I, I'm moving all the way straight. There's a W. I'm moving on a road written W. As I'm moving all the way, uh, uh, there is a left hand, but I'm turning right. It's written Airport Road. Airport Road. Yeah. I'm turning, I'm seeing a place. It's written Walla Walla, Walla Walla, Walla Walla, Walla Walla. That's where I, that's where I was uh, born. That's where I was from. We are from Walla Walla. I'm seeing you helping somebody with a hundred dollar. And there's someone that you are helping there. And the Lord says, because of the seed that you planted, I'm opening a door for you and I'm being a blessing to you. The seed that you sow, it will stand for your house and it will stand for your mother. The blessing of God is coming upon Noma because of the blessing that you did because of the seed that you sowed. I remember you, I bless you and I open the door and the gate for you, says the spirit of the living God. So before we start uh, asking any questions, does Prophet, uh, over this weekend, Prophet Passion Java prophesied to you, has he ever seen you? Has he ever met you? Uh, in the video he mentioned you and he mentioned your mom. Has he ever met any of you guys, seen you, talked to you, any of you guys? Uh, no, never before. Amen. God knows every single one of us by name. He said he knows you by before you're even uh, in, the, in your mother's womb. So your first question is um, the, he mentioned the directions to, uh, to this town. What does the directions and the hometown and the sign, what does that all uh, connect to you? Uh, well, um, it was pretty crazy that he actually went to that extent. Um, you know, if you've ever been to Walla, you do go over the bridge and Columbia and Snake River. And, um, but when he mentioned uh, Airport Road, what's funny is years ago when I was working over in Walla Walla, there was, um, I would take an exit onto Airport Road to get on the highway to get to my house. And on Airport Road, there's a sign that says Walla Walla. Come on, everybody. Let's put your hands together. See, this doesn't need to be said, but he says it just so we know that there's no doubt in our mind that our God is alive. Our God knows every single thing, even the Walla Walla sign. Uh, even though he's never going back there, he's, he's sticking with us. Um, so second question, he mentioned that you sowed a seed, uh, $100 into a person's life. What is, what is an, uh, the importance to you when it comes to giving, when it comes whether it's a dollar, $5 to those, uh, those that are needy? Those, uh, so what is the importance to you in, in giving? Um, what's, what's crazy about that is this was a few years ago. There was a couple times where I sold around a hundred dollars. Uh, one of them was to a, a coworker of mine who wasn't going to be able to make her rent. So I gave her a hundred dollars a few years ago. And, um, what I want to point out is this is when I really wasn't living that, uh, Christ-like of a life. Um, but what I want to point out is that those seeds that you sow, they matter. They, it doesn't matter where you're at in your life, you know. I didn't expect him to even bring that up. I, that was way beyond my memory. And then when he brought it up, I was, I was completely mind blown. But every single thing that you do, it, it matters what you're doing right now. Amen, amen. And also the last, the last thing he mentioned, uh, because you sowed that he he will take care of the situation with you and your mom. What can you say about that? Uh, when he, when he mentioned, uh, you know, my mom and my family, it um, it gets me really emotional because of the the situation that has uh, taken place with my family these past couple years. And so um, when he said, you know, that the ble that, that seed that I sowed, will, uh, a blessing will come and it will come upon, you know, my household and my mom, it, it meant the world to me. And when he said that, I remember you. Um, and again, I, I've never met this guy before. And for Holy Spirit to be speaking through this man and saying, I remember you back then through, two three years ago is just it, it shows that no matter where you are at in your life that God is watching over you every single step of the way it doesn't matter if you're living great it doesn't matter if you're living bad God is there right beside you every step of the way and now with this prophecy you know I just look forward to the blessing that's going to come amen 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 and so what advice can you give for those that might maybe watch it live or re-watching it or maybe here that are looking for an answer and are praying, are praying? What, what is your advice that you could give them? Uh, 
don't stop praying. Um, when I first moved here, it was uh, m one of my main prayers, you know. I knew I was in the right place um, coming here, being a part of Hungry Gen, and my main prayer was immediately my mother. And I prayed uh, for weeks and um, uh, months at a time uh, for my mom to come here and be a part of this ministry alongside me. And so I just want to let you know, your prayers are heard. Every single one. I mean, uh, it took me a while to, you know, get going in this church. You know, my prayer life was, I didn't have a prayer life. I didn't have a relationship, a, a real relationship with God. But God still heard my prayer. And now my mom is here. She's now serving, you know, in the church. And I mean, all I, all I have to say is, you know, keep praying. Don't ever let go of that faith. Don't ever let go of that belief that God will answer your prayers. He knows the, the thoughts and desires of your heart, and they will come to pass.